Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio. So today, we're going to be having a look at a brand new item card. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. An item card that I am... Um, I'm going to be honest, right? We've not had it before. I was going to say something fancy like I'm fairly certain we've never had it before. But no, we've, we've just not had it before. It is Electromagnetic Radar, which is, of course, a rather long, complicated name. But according to the lovely David Hockman, who, of course, has provided our translation for this video, that's what it's called. The more important question, what does it actually do? Well, you discard two cards from your hand, and then you search for two lightning Pokemon EX or GX, reveal them, and put them into your hand. And then, of course, shuffle your deck. That one's fairly standard. It's Pokemon Search. It's really quite good Pokemon Search. Now it's limited to Lightning Decks, we'll get onto that in a moment, and it's limited to EXs and GXs. All of this is a little bit of a pain. But what is really important to start off with, it is good Pokemon Search. Now, we've got, at the moment, Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is the best Pokemon search we've got. It has been for a little while. And what's great about Ultra Ball is it can search for any Pokemon. We've had a myriad of cards like Dive Ball, only water Pokemon, Level Ball, 90 HP or less, Nest Ball, only basics and they go straight to the bench. Pokemon does not want to give us universal Pokemon search. They have been exceedingly clear in not wanting to give us universal Pokemon search. But they gave it to us with Ultra Ball and they said, look, all right, you can have universal Pokemon search. Have it your way. Stop complaining. But oh yeah, you've got to discard two cards from your hand to do so. Well, Electromagnetic Radar follows suit quite nicely, except you can grab two Pokemon but you can only actually get EXs or GXs that are lightning type. And you know what? This is actually pretty good because there are very few cards that let you search out multiple Pokemon. Some of you that were playing, well, all of you playing back in Heart Gold, Soul, Silver era should remember Jewel Ball. Jewel Ball was amazing. Flip two coins for each head to put a basic Pokemon into your hand. And this is when we had things like Shaman and Pachirisu, which had coming into play abilities and then they were just amazing it wasn't like nest ball they did go into your hand not straight onto the bench and more recently we've all been playing timer ball or at least a lot of evolution decks have been flip two coins for each head put an evolution pokemon into your hand it's not as good as jewel ball because not every deck is playing evolutions and you don't have to sit coming into play abilities but still a, a rather good item that's seen a lot of play so this is guaranteed double Pokemon search, the likes of which we just don't have at the moment. Getting two Pokemon with one item is redonk. And let's face it, it's kind of like a double Mysterious Treasure. Mysterious Treasure, discard one card from your hand, and then search for a Psychic or Dragon Pokemon. This is discard two cards and get two Pokemon, but they have to be Lightning EXs or GXs. So... One of the things we need to mention here is that this is only going to be good if we're playing a Lightning deck. But you see, over in Japan at the moment, possibly the best deck in the format is Zapdos, Jirachi, Jolteon. Now, there is a very strong argument that since the release of Tag Bolt over there, that actually this has fallen out of favour. But Jolteon's still a phenomenal card. One Lightning Energy, 30 to the active, 30 to the bench. Two Lightning Energy, 110 damage. And remembering you've got stuff like Electro Power, so you can build this up very, very quickly. And look, we've got the Energy Evolution Eevee. No one's arguing that we don't. But you don't always want to attach energy to an Eevee to evolve it. Now turn one, you want to pop a Lightning Energy on Eevee, evolve it into Jolteon GX, and then start attacking. But then maybe next turn you want to put an energy on Jolteon. Or maybe you want to put an energy onto Zapdos. And then you end up in this awkward position where you can put the energy onto Zapdos. But then you've got a 60 HP Eevee sitting on the bench, which is rather easy for your opponent to KO. I mean, Weavile has been coming around being really quite popular at the moment. And the problem with Weavile is that it does 60 damage to each Pokemon in play, yours and your opponent's, that has an ability. Yeah. Problem is, Eevee's a 60 HP Pokemon with an ability. It's not going to last very long at all against Weavile and its rule of evil. So you want to evolve them up. 
And this is really good. It's not a supporter card. It's just one item card. You discard two cards from your hand. And you're off and rolling. You get two more Jolteon, evolve your Jirachi, and you don't have to worry. The other thing is, of course, that Jolteon has free retreats and Jirachi does not. So sometimes you might want to search out your Jolteon just because you've got an Eevee in the active that you don't want in the active. Maybe your opponent's Guzma it active to try and make you waste an energy retreating it. Find a Jolteon and you don't have to. It's not necessarily the best use, given that you do have the Energy Evolution Eevee, but it's one that would work quite nicely. Of course, you do run into the downside here of you cannot actually search for a Zapdos, because Zapdos is a non-GX, but you can't have it all. And that is one of the big issues here. This is never going to be a four of with nothing else. This is never going to be Ultra Ball, because the problem is Ultra Ball searches any Pokemon. You've got your Tapu Lele, to get yourself set up. You've got your Orangaroo to draw a few extra cards, and then you've got your Lightning Pokemon. Well, you still need stuff like Ultra Ball and Nest Ball in the early game. This won't do everything. This is one of those cards that you play like Timer Ball, like Net Ball, for decks that are not just hardcore grass decks. You need a fifth or sixth Pokemon search, you accept that it's not going to get you your Jirachi or your Orangaroo or your Tapu Lele, but neither will Timer Ball. Nest Ball will get your Orangaroo, but it's not going to get your Evolutions. It's not going to use your coming into play abilities. This could work. And let's face it, Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX is proving to be one of the very best decks in the format at the moment. It's already winning over in Japan. I'll pop a link to that video in the description. It is a phenomenal card that is doing phenomenally well. And you can search two of them out with this. To put it bluntly, if you're playing a deck with Lightning EXs or GXs, it's not going to be a four off to start off your deck list, but it will be a one or two off to finish off your deck list. But let's not forget about the fact that you've got to discard two cards from your hand in order to be able to use this. We've seen this with Ultra Ball, we've seen it with Mysterious Treasure, and it's not been a particularly big problem. For a lot of decks, it's actually been a big help. Back last format, we would see that you got Bridget, where you play four Bridget to get it turn one, and then you just discard the rest with stuff like Ultra Ball. But more recently, it's really good to get energy into the discard pile. Now, maybe you're playing a deck with Naganadal that wants energy in the discard pile. They can work with Lightning. But we've got Tapu Koko Prism Star. Tapu Koko is one of the most busted things about Lightning at the moment. If it's on the bench, you can put it in the Lost Zone and then attach two energy from your discard pile. One to each of two bench Pokemon. That's pretty phenomenal. And let's not forget the Zero Auras GX attack attaches five basic lightning from the discard to your Pokemon in any way that you like. So the reality is, a lot of the time you're going to want lightning energy in the discard. Or you're going to have cards that you just don't need anymore. There are plenty of times we've got cards clogging up our hand, and if you can discard them, first of all you can draw more stuff with something like Orangaroo. Draws until you've got three cards in hand, so the fewer cards in hand the more you draw. Or you just don't want them. You don't want to draw into them. You don't want to risk playing a Cynthia, top decking these cards, and then not being able to play them. So you get to play an item like Electromagnetic Radar, knowing that you're not going to draw into these cards in the future. This is an extremely niche card. It is only for lightning decks. And if you're playing something like Raikou with Zapdos, like I showed you the other day, you're probably still not, link in the description, you're probably still not even playing this card. But just like Netball and just like Dive Ball, there are going to be decks that want to play this. And like we saw with Greninja and Dive Ball, sooner or later there are probably going to be decks that are basically entirely Lightning decks. And at that stage, hey, Electromagnetic Radar says hi. I'm going to be giving this between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. It's not a stunning card and you're not going to play it in that many decks. But it's more than just a, oh, maybe you'll play it at some point. I rather think you will be playing this at some point. But whether you agree or disagree, ladies and gentlemen, hey, there's a comment section. Might I suggest you go nuts while also respectfully requesting that you be nice? 
That is, of course, the most important thing. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays for some more Wassy action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.